Hey there everyone. Remember like way back about second episode or so when we walked into Domina and saw that encounter between Duel and Alazel? Well, we are finally going to act on that encounter by walking into the pub. This is usually the first mission some people choose to do, but we've been saving it for now just because of the order of the walkthrough I'm using. We're going to walk into here now and finally see what that whole Alazel thing was about. So let's go up and talk to them and see what's going on. Nope. Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. My mistake. Oh god, she's seizuring out! Let's see. Oh, oh hey, I'm generally really good with things like that. You wanna come with me? Uh, who is this friend? Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, is she up for grabs? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Well, uh, let's go looking for her. Yeah! What do you want? And that is the whole artifact. That is the artifact that kicks off this whole mission right here. It's just really pretty. Oh, I found it somewhere one time. Ooh. Oh, really? So, uh, they say they say you are what you eat. Is that, uh, is that uh, what up with downstairs and everything? And now we got a Lazo following us around, which is really great for this mission. We're going to go ahead and leave Domina now and set down the Jade Egg on the map. He's following us around now. Great news. We didn't have any trouble getting him to follow us or anything because we were nice to him and we were genuinely, uh, genuinely compassionate and sincere about our interest in what's wrong and whatnot. So he's going to follow us around looking for a pearl now. And we're going to set the Jade Egg. The Jade Egg. We're going to set the Jade Egg north of the junkyard now and make them a Kev Cavern. Yeah, see, because this is not usually a place you save for this late in the game, that was not a very epic creation sequence. It's usually, like, right next to your house or to Domina, but now we're going to encounter some uh, fairly higher level enemies than we normally would here, so we're just going to walk in and start up on the Lost Princess looking for Pearl and helping kick off this whole Jumi Knight arc. Alright, and it starts as soon as we walk in the cave. Lazel strutting his stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not brilliance you're smelling. Wait till we just get to Pearl. No, no. See, this is another one where Duel wants to tutorialize you. So this was meant to be a fairly early mission, but we're just going to go ahead and plug our way through these caverns, walking ground level. Oh, well, we need to go, uh, are we going the right way? Oh, yes, here we go. We need to go somewhere down here. I assume this is the way? This is not too hard a place to navigate, but it is possible to get lost on occasion. I don't, I don't foresee that really happening. And now we see the return of Mushblooms, or Mushboom, I guess. When they were this color in Secret of Mana, they were Mushblooms, and we encountered them in the Pure Land. You see how much energy they have. Thanks, Alazel. For helping out with that, I'm going to collect all the, ex well, most of the experience anyway. I guess 10% for your partner. That's kind of fair. I'm going to stop getting mad so much about that kind of thing. Because really the experience in this game doesn't matter, especially not in the first run of the game. Those mighty javelin these suckers. Well, at least one of these suckers. But if they're only going to give out candy, then who cares? All right, we got Counter Strike down, so now let's keep on moving down the list. I believe the next ability we want to learn is Taunt, so uh, we don't have that yet, do we? Nope, we basically only got four abilities left. Wow, wow, we can learn those faster than I thought. So we're gonna go ahead and Taunt consists of Retreat and Cheer. The only thing Cheer is really good for is learning Taunt, and I never use Taunt either. But we're just gonna go down the list and kind of get it out of the way. And now start curving down through here. The boss is in the very lower leftmost part of this cave. And he is an easy one. Although we will be seeing a lot of bosses like him throughout the game. As we go on other missions and stuff. Ah, 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 ah. You're not going to throw that mushroom cap at me. 
but not today, Mr. Mushboo. And that was also a steamed crab from Secret of Mon that we fought. Although, again, he had his later palette swap color on him to where he looked like a metal crab rather than a steam crab. And we just about made it to where we need to get to. Oh boy, yeah, you really needed a treasure chest to hold that. Alright, we've made it somewhere important. You can always tell when the music fades out and you hear that boss music coming. There we go. This is uh, this is one of the do bosses. There's Ducate, who will fight in a later mission. There's Duinka, which will fight in a later mission. But I can't remember this guy's name. I think it's Dumir. Not that I can press the start button and check. I don't know why that's not working for me. Sure, Olazel, you just get pummeled and turn into a snowman. But I'm going to stay out of this dude's way. And I'm going to try to use as many moves like this on him as I can. Although, you probably just... Yeah, thanks a lot, Olazel. Backing him up against the screen like that. Making me miss with my holy light. Yeah, you can uh, just die now, Olazel. I've got this under control. Like most NPCs, Olazel is incredibly worthless. Oh, hello there, stalactites. And while you die, I'm just going to steal all the experience. <laughs> Two levels up. Wow, not too shabby. But no ability learned, alas. And just for the convenience of the story, Olazel gets to come back to life now. Oh, oh, I see her. There she is, hiding behind the rocks. This is our introduction to Pearl. Pearl is very ditzy and basically needs to be held by the hand everywhere. And she gets herself in a lot of stupid situations, and we end up having to bail her ass out a lot. And if you're thinking Olazel's a jerk because he talks to Pearl like she's a child, she basically has, like, Stegosaurus walnut brain. She is, for all intents and purposes, a child. Yeah, Olazel, stick it to her. And I believe we want to side with Olazel here because, really, wandering around in a cave like this by yourself, getting cornered by a yeti, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah, stay with him. I'll stay out of it now, yeah. It's okay, baby. We'll go home and uh, we'll make some good love and we'll forget this ever happened. <laughs> All right. One more artifact. I can deal with that. But yeah, that's a pretty simple little mission and the beginning of another story arc and our introduction to several characters that are going to be way important later on. Very short mission, but definitely a very necessary introductory mission. And it wasn't even all that hard when we saved it for this late in the game either. So yeah, good little mission there. Glad we had this talk. Um, what? Where is little Cactus and why is he missing? Uh, hello, has anybody seen little Cactus? Lisa? Yes, thank you for paying attention to the topic at hand, Lisa. <laughs> Flipping her shit, literally. <laughs> And that starts another mission. We'll be able to talk to Little Cactus in a minute and get our diary entry for the last mission, but now that some conditions have been satisfied, which I'm not entirely sure of, we get to go find Lisa's magic broom. Yeah. How did you lose that broom? Yeah. Go ahead, bud. Twist the knife. Oh. Oh, hey, Little Cactus. Yes, just walk up to your room like nothing happened at all, ever. Indeed. I hear tell he also sometimes talks. Yes, just throw your little tantrum, Lisa. You stay down here. I'm going to go upstairs and see what's up with little cactus then. Oh! Oh, really? Well, that was not very nice, little cactus. How many times have I told you 
not to touch things that aren't yours. You need to have more respect for other people's property. Fun to get lost. Well, be that as it may, you have stolen something that belonged to someone and it was very important to them. So you are in big trouble, little mister. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. You wait here. I'll be back to spank you later. Yeah, write in your diary. Get your kicks, little man, because you are grounded. You are so grounded. I cannot believe how grounded you are. Oh, crap. Boy, this day just keeps getting better and better. Well, okay, yeah. Bud gets to tag along for another mission, and we are off to the junkyard. Come on, Bud. Bye, Sprowling. Take care of little cactus for me. Alright, we're going to take generally the same route we took as last time. We can actually take a bit of a shortcut, actually, I think. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Professor Bomb's laboratory. And that's going to put us really close to where we want to go. We don't have much use for Professor Bomb at the moment. We can get some treasure. Little Eye. Another one? Wow. Interesting. But we're going to go ahead, take some different paths. We can actually... We actually have the luxury of exploring a little if we so choose, but I don't think we're going to do that. And by the way, yes, I was able to forge a more powerful spear in the blacksmith's shop with the Jacobini rock that I had. It actually increased my attack by 10, so that is no small bit of stat increase, and I'm very happy for that. I'm happy that I actually had a material that I could use in the forging process. Hey, that's how I get to that thing. Ew, pshaw, that treasure chest should brush its teeth every now and then. But here we are. We're basically almost to Lisa. Very short, very quick area. Hey, that guy is new, the Shadow Zero. I don't think he was there with the big old mud pile dude before. Do your magic, bud. I want to see it. Eh, jeez, just my regular spear is better than that. Woohoo, yeah. And now we move forward, and now this is the one with the Grim one, I do believe. Unless we just went to a totally wrong place here. Oh yeah, we just took a big long way around. Well, while we're in, let's go to Louie's and get those two treasure chests that teased us at the last part of that one mission. We get a wad of wool, which I think we've gotten out of a treasure chest before, actually. Anything doing getting around to that other one? There we go. Electricity. Electricity. Okay, now we can quit fooling around and waste of time. We're going to go up to the place that actually matters. Okay, so it's slightly different than it was before, but... Okay. But I assume we're going the right way now? We better be. Oh, there's the Shadow Zero again. I'm not so sure. Maybe we do need to go the same way as last time. Talking to the the dolls and the jack-in-the-boxes and the teddy bears and everything, though I don't specifically recall that. But let's just go ahead and see what that does for us. Yeah, this way is blocked off. Maybe we do need to do that. Yep, just going in a big old loop. No, I'm not going to laugh at you. Just leave me alone. Mind your own business. Let's see if anything is... Yeah, something is very wrong here. I'm going to go back to the start real quick. Okay, so maybe you do need to talk to these folks. Because that's a very important clue. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and take the same path and see if anything says anyone different now. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to the teddy bear like we did before. Yeah, there we go. Ah, yes, that would be Little Cactus, alright. So now... We need to continue to take the same route as we did last time because that's definitely helping us out quite a lot. Yes, yes, there we go. The tips get more specific as we move onwards and upwards. Very good, okay. So that was the step I was missing. You can't just plow your way through here. You actually have to talk to people and play detective and get clues about things and stuff. Y'all getting too close for me for holy light to work. Yeah, complete whiff. Dang it, stupid, oh, hey, stupid enemy AI wanted to get all close to me and up in my business. How dare you trip me up off of my feet. I'm going to take that candy wherever it is. 
I have no clue where it went. It was somewhere behind that stupid background deal. Thanks, bud. Now I only have to get one little X tap. Oh, hey, all right. Oh, I forgot all about slide. That's probably an important one to know. Okay, then we will go ahead and switch. Yeah, I already learned to evade and taunt while I was wandering around getting lost and stuff. So that leaves the only thing left, I think, is a uh, flip kick. So that requires back roll and back flip, which are both great moves on their own, but they turn into yet another great move by themselves. Then, then we can start learning special techniques. Maybe we'll uh, get on a roll here. What does Jack in the Box have to say? No, we're not going to laugh at you this time. Good God. So let's go on and let's see if talking to all those other trash pieces made a difference. I certainly hope it did. It looks like it did anyway. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. We better talk to the rocking horse. Make sure this is the right way to go. Yep, there we go. That's our last confirming... Our last confirmation of a clue there and now we're only fighting the mud pile with no shadow zero accompanying him so that's how we know we're doing things right around here so let's go ahead and go fight that gremlin to get back lisa's daddy's broom yeah there we go a little bit inappropriate music for a gremlin fight but whatever Although that was kind of generous with Little Cactus, as long as he's stealing people's stuff to just leave it out in the open. He could have thrown it into one of these piles, and it wouldn't just become a background detail. There's a lot of talking in this part, actually. I forgot about this. Yeah, well, that pretty much boils it down, actually. Usually this game is not so bad about, or not so great about, distilling its major plot lines to little sound bites like that, but that pretty much sums it up. Okay, you throw your fit and get on out of here. Now, speaking of the game not explaining things, the game never really, I don't think, explains where their dad went. It's like, we had a dad, now we don't. Now this mute guy is going to be our father figure. Accept it. Oh boy. Yeah, these guys just gab on for a little while. This is quite a long prelude to what is actually a very simple boss fight. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Okay. So the point is to run away and let me do all the fighting so you can have your stupid crappy broken broom back. Now I pop up on the screen to fight everybody's battles for them. That's generally how it works in this game. And we go ahead and a uh, pretty epic entrance for kind of a weak little dude. Yeah, sure, just put us right in his face. That's cool. But he does have two and a half life bars, so he's no slouch in the health department. But I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit far away. Aw, oh, crap, I got pigmized by the stupid bubble. That shouldn't matter too much, though. We'll be big again in just a second. He seems to be staying out of my way for the most part, so I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to use Holy Light. Don't get any closer. There we go. Wow, that actually did quite a substantial amount of damage. That took away half of a life bar. Oh yeah, you use that rising crush, bud. Good work, dude. Wow, he's actually being very helpful this time. Nothing like he was against Waban. Okay, get away from my crystals, bud. I'm the one who fought this battle. Oh my god! That's a whole 180 experience points. It could have been mine. Bud, you're grounded. But if Daddy ever finds out that broom is broken, oh, he's going to be so mad. Piece of junk broom. You get what you pay for, I guess. Does anything ever come of this? I don't remember. I want to say no. 
but oh yes definitely a picture of the past right there that broom ain't gonna look like that ever again I can assure you of that boom snap snap 